Hey guys, it's Craig from Wallet Accountants. I've noticed there's a lot of videos about how companies will save you on tax, but the reality is often with small business, it doesn't actually save you any tax. And I'll show you why today. So the easiest way to explain it was, is with an example. So we'll look at one now. In this example, we've got a company and a shareholder, John Smith. If we scroll down, we've got the transactions so we can see why there is no savings for tax and this is the reality for a lot of small businesses that operate through a company or for those that are looking to set up a company this may uh, provide some insight on, on how it works so the company pretty straightforward we've got income here in the tax return of fifty thousand dollars so that's you know sales we've got ten thousand in expenses so those are you know like fuel you know wages or whatever um, Pretty simple, so profit of 40,000. There's no tax adjustment, so the profit is the same as taxable income, 40,000. So now we're gonna work out how much, the comp uh, how much tax the company's gotta pay. So 25% is the tax rate for the company. That means there'll be $10,000 to pay. There's no installments paid, so we'll keep it simple, put that as zero. The end result is when the company return is lodged, they'll have to pay $10,000. So just to Summarize what it looks like in the bank. There'd be 40,000 cash in the bank profit Then there'll be a $10,000 payment for the company and then this is the reality a lot of small business owner will draw the Remaining balance, you know to pay for their personal expenses So you can see this person uh, what's left over was the 30,000 They've then drawn that and the balance in the bank is now zero so what happens is with the withdrawal, this triggers what they call Division 7A. It's an integrity rule uh, to make it fair. So everyone is paying uh, their fair share of tax. With this 30,000, this will go in as income into the shareholder's return. So you can see over here, you've got cash dividend of 30,000. The tax that was paid by the company is called a Franken credit. So this is also income. Then we have the tax of income for the shareholder, 40,000. So you can see that the tax of income is actually the same. Now the individual now has to pay tax on that 40,000. You might be thinking, well, didn't we just pay tax on that 40,000? And I will explain that in a second. So we've got the tax payable on the 40,000. For individuals it's stepped, it's not a flat 25%. The first 18,200 is nil. The remaining balance is 21,800. So that's the difference between the 18,200 and the 40,000. So the tax rate in that bracket is 21%. So tax payable is only $4,578. So you can see that the tax paid by the company here is actually an offset. So we're gonna get that money back, but we have to pay 4,500. So when the shareholder lodges their return, they'll get a refund of the $5,633. So we hope the, this video has been insightful. You can see that in, in practice, when small business uh, takes their money from their, from their company, from their business, uh, the company tax rate it doesn't mean anything. It'd be 20, 40%. It doesn't, it doesn't matter because the only tax rate that matters is your tax rate and which financial year that falls in. So thanks for watching the video. If you've got uh, any questions, you know, leave us a comment or uh, give us a like and we'll see you at the next one.